This is your morning jolt, and yes, I am still in San Francisco. I'm here for PayPal's Investor Day and talking to all people, all sorts of people on the tech scene. I'm absolutely having a blast, but I have three things you need to know right from my hotel room here in San Francisco for your market day. First up, Tesla CEO, CEO Elon Musk went off the deep end on Twitter on Wednesday night, really rallying against the media and how they write their stories. Memo to Musk, journalists don't write stories to drive clicks and bonuses. That's not what we do. Let's get real, my man. Uh, but ultimately, interesting stats from uh, at Tesla charts on Twitter. Musk is now tweeting about eight times a day. Uh, in 20, 2017, he tweeted about four times a day. Interestingly, with the increase in tweets this month, Tesla stock has come under pressure, down about 2%. Musk may just want to focus on running his operations. Ultimately, you take a step back, you get a, a sense that the pressure is really starting to weigh on this guy, and he's just trying to release it on Twitter. Big risk. Musk is a huge risk to Tesla right now. Next up, I'm reading off my notes. That's one of the benefits of doing uh, webcams from your hotel room. You can read off your notes. Uh, markets. You know, Don't be so th quick to think that markets are, are now... Uh, they're going to be soothed. They're soothed, uh, and, and they're going to go in the long weekend, uh, and there's no risk. Watch out. Be careful. Don't think that Wednesday's rally is a sign of uh, broader things to come. I mean, you have Trump now coming out today on, on auto tariffs. He wants to maybe raise auto tariffs. That's not good. You have a high-profile panel tomorrow uh, in St. Petersburg with Vladimir Putin, Emmanuel Macron, and Shinzo Abe. That is probably to drive a lot of headline risk. The market is set up for a sell-off into the long weekend. Buyer beware. Looking at some more notes. And lastly, third thing, PayPal Investor Day uh, probably starts kick, kicks off about 8:30. And I had the opportunity to talk to some of the PayPal team members at dinner on Wednesday night. Very interesting. You'll probably see some long-term targets from them. A lot of big bold thinking. PayPal Investor Day. Follow us on the street at Brian Sazi. I'll be tweeting it. I'll be reporting it. I'll be on the ground, hanging out with my uh, former analyst community uh, buddies. That should be uh, pretty pretty cool. And then uh, stat of the day, uh, if, a phenomenal one uh, from RBC Capital Markets, 2.4 million. What is that, you ask? That is how many robo taxis may be on the road by 2025. Robo taxis. What does that mean in plain English? Autonomous taxis. That's a big driver, and that's probably going to be a big driver for the LIDAR market. Uh, if you click through into the Morning Joel newsletter, I give you three stock suggestions uh, on the bulging LIDAR market. Uh, do your research on these. I mean, I'm not supposed to be picking stocks. Do your own research on these. And then in case you missed it, on the street site that just hit this morning uh, is 12 great stock, stock suggestions uh, from the street's top editors. Check it out. In these risky markets, uh, our team scoured their coverage universes looking for really good ideas that could withstand not only market volatility today, but market volatility over the next 12 to 18 months because the reality is this. Volatility is back. You need to know how to survive. All right, I'm Brian Sazi. And now be sure to sign up for the Morning Jolt newsletter. It's on a button on the top of the street's homepage. I don't know the link right now. I've been up around the clock trying to do tons and tons of work. Uh, I'm having a blast, but I got to get a little sleep. I'll see you guys later.